it's all sterling silver for 350 a piece. Yes, I'll be buying all of this. Man, this is lucky. Wow, that was almost too good to be true. I'm amazed. Everybody's eyeing these. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go, we're gonna check out and then I'll get back to my warehouse and now we'll go over exactly what this is because it's pretty cool. This is the biggest thrift store purchase I've ever made in terms of like potential profit. So I'm like shaking right now, waiting to check out. Wow, once in a lifetime thrift haul. Oh my goodness, it was 70 bucks for everything. And like, okay, so there's the, these, go for like between 70 and 100 bucks a piece. And I have 10 of them. And then I couldn't find the price on these. I don't know if they're like sorbet bowls or what, but um, <laughs> I mean, that's that was probably 50 bucks for all of this. And then I just got these books. And I mean, like the books alone that I paid 20 bucks for or 10 bucks for in this mouse, that's gonna pay for all, for all of this. And this is just gonna be like, I mean, I could auction this off. Th these especially, the Alvin M157 sterling silver water chalices, I think. I'm pretty sure that M157 is the water chalice. So I might look into a more upscale auction service to see if maybe I can get over a thousand bucks, but, um, I mean, the, the scrap value alone is more than 50 bucks. Crazy. This is pretty cool. Look at that. It's a Sears Bazaar tag on an old 80s t-shirt. Man, this day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Vintage Filson fly vest. Man, this, is, this has been a good day to be a reseller. This has been such a good day. So besides the purchase I made, I just made a connection with the manager here. I'm gonna be buying wholesale from them. I'm buying wholesale from a few other Goodwills. Uh, I feel like finally I'm back in a rhythm. I just wanna show you, so this, this I looked this up again. So these Alvin M157 chalices, I, I literally, with the gold wash interior, so I think these are actually too expensive for me to sell, as in I'm, I'm not reputable enough to get the market value. I think the market value for 10 of these is like two and a half thousand dollars. I think, maybe more. I, I mean, it really depends how they clean up. Um, still can't ID these. I, I, they're for, like you put an ice cream in there or something like that and th these are weighted too. So there's concrete at the bottom. These are just pure silver. They're hollow, but they're pure silver. Now over here, I hardly ever stop at Goodwill's anymore. And I find this just, on the rack. So that Sears t-shirt, cool. I don't know much about it. I'm kind of stumped as to what, if it, I mean, it could be reproduction. I think it's real. I've never heard of someone faking Sears Bazaar ringers. Um, I'm unfamiliar with Love Story. It says it's 85. I assume it's printed. I, I, I mean, I really am stumped for any details about this. But this, however, this is the uh, Filson I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it's a fly fisher tour guide. You put your flies on there. Um, it's a size large. I wish it was XL or 2XL. They say it's XL, but it's actually just a large. Um, right there, made in USA. These go for between $250 and $300. So like literally right in front of me, I bet I have two grand. And I spent 53 bucks on all of it. This is not typical. This is not typical. It's very, I'm very fortunate. Very in a good, I'm in a very good mood if you can't tell. I figure now is a good time for an update on the sterling silver chalices. Alvin, sterling silver. This one's cleaned up. The rest of them are not cleaned up. Uh, what I'm using to clean these up, and I'll show you a before and after, I guess, is these. They're called like sun sheets, sunshine, silver polishing cloth. Uh, it's like 15 bucks for 10 of them on Amazon. Probably less on eBay. I just bought them on Amazon because I wanted them fast. Why do I want them fast? I don't know because everything that I thought I was doing to sell these is not working. Three auction houses don't want them. Uh, I contacted a collector. 
don't want them. And the reason they don't want them, I think, because it's pretty easy to verify that they're not fake, uh, but they are dirty. This one's clean. But let me grab a dirty one and you can see, yeah, you can, I mean, is that pretty visible? They're not like massively tarnished, but you can see that texture of tarnish and that comes from oil from people's hands. Um, I think, you know, I guess it's oxidation, so it could come from anything, but I, it's, they always say it's from oil on your hands. So I should, that's why I should be wearing gloves when I handle these. Uh, so what we're going to do, we couldn't do auction house number one in Detroit, couldn't do one uh, in Lansing and a local consignment place. They do auctions occasionally, but more consignment. They didn't want it either. Um, so I don't remember how much weight it is in silver. I think it was about, I think each of these was about... 85 grams we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so about a thousand grams on uh, chalices uh and then these we've got one two three four five six seven eight of those so probably about 1500 grams in silver which is about a thousand bucks as of today it's been six weeks since i bought these and the other stuff these uh the fly fishing jacket the filson jacket sold in four weeks for $3.99 plus shipping. The uh, Marvel Vintage T-shirt has not sold yet. And I finally know what I'm doing with my chalices. We've got, let's see, four, eight, 12 of these. And they're the Alvin M157. You can see that. Uh, then there's two more that were previously unidentified, but now I know what they are. And I, I don't know what they're used for. I think that they're like serving dishes, um, dessert serving dishes. And I said there was concrete in these, but I believe it's actually cement, not concrete. And so the bottom, so they don't tip over, obviously, has cement in there to weigh it down. Uh, and the only way to really accurately figure out how much silver's in these is if I cut this up and pull the cement out, and I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna destroy them. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these and 12 of those, so 20 cups total. Um, like I said earlier, the auction houses are no help. Private collectors don't want them. Uh, I have found, I think, what are my two best bets so i'm taking photos today they're gonna go on ebay i might use a service like flip to cross post onto um facebook marketplace and etsy um i don't know though i'm kind of like going away from those because there's just I'm, etsy I, I think etsy's gonna be bought out by somebody in the next five years and facebook marketplace doesn't seem like the best place to sell a bunch of sterling silver um chalices so replacements.com, I created an account. Uh, I was able to match the, I think there might only just, the way that they work is they'll buy it from you and they'll sell it that way. They're not gonna have you sell on their platform. I think they're gonna buy the Alvin chalices for me. They currently sell these for 179 a piece and it's the same, the same exact model as this. Um, they sell a lot of, so on the bottom it says M, F, H, MFH, and that stands for M. Fred Hirsch. That's the silver distribution or production company. I don't know if they're still in business. Uh, they do sell M. Fred Hirsch, but they mostly sell hollowware. So like this hollow, you know, there's no cement in there um, versus this, which is weighted sterling silver or cement sterling silver. Um, these on eBay, they do sell, since I bought these, Three or four have sold. Uh, they've sold for between fifty and one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So uh, that, that's individuals. There are people who are trying to get sets of them, and in sets they want to get about one sixty. So to me, it looks like replacements.com is setting the price, and then people on eBay are trying to undercut them um, with very thin margins. So. Now that we understand what's going on, what am I gonna do to make the most money out of this? It's been six weeks. Luckily, it's already all paid for. So when I sell these, it's just gonna be profit on top of that. But how am I gonna do this the best way? 
So I'm uh, waiting for an offer from replacements.com. If they're going to offer me 125 for uh, the, the 12 of those, in a heartbeat, I would take that offer. I think that they're probably working on around 30% margins. So between 116 and 125, that's not an unrealistic expectation. Um, I don't know for sure. I'm going to publish the video before I get a response back. Uh, but if I don't get that offer, I mean, I'm going to list it on eBay regardless. And then if I get the offer 125 per item per, per these chalices, and then for these, I'm guessing they're only worth 30 or 40 bucks a piece, uh, like retail. So, you know, again, I, I don't know about that. Um, I'll, I'll have to be a bit more, if, if I could get two grand for everything, I would take that. I think that's the higher end of what they're going to offer me. They might not offer to buy this at all just because of what it is. They'll definitely offer to buy this. Uh, and then if I can get those numbers, you just send them to replacements.com. I'm curious if they're going to ask about how tarnished they are because I did do just some basic cleaning up. I'm not using any chemicals or brushes even. I'm just using those, uh, those star shine sheets like you saw earlier. We're doing that. If they say, oh, they're too messy, I just might sell them myself because it does take, I mean, to get it to 90% good takes about two or three minutes. To get it to 100% good, like pristine condition, takes a half hour because of all the nooks and crannies and I just don't have, I don't have the eye for detail to do that. So if they say no, too dirty, uh, I will sell them on eBay and I'm gonna ask 150 a piece. Uh, individually as a buy it now listing with a quantity discount of probably nothing um, just because I don't I you know I want to get as much as I can off this at 150 plus shipping realistically I'll be paying about 20 bucks in fees you know fees and insurance because I will have these insured um, if they're buying multiples if it's only one purchase, I'll probably just use the priority mail or UPS um, included shipping insurance. But if not, I'll buy it. I'll buy that. So I'll probably be taking home about 120, 125, which is why I'll take that <laughs> in a heartbeat from um, replacements.com. So I know I said I wasn't going to uh, tell you about the offer I got because I expected it to take a week. It's taken 25 minutes for, to get an offer back. I mean, uh, 40 minutes tops to get an offer back. Uh, like I thought, they're not going to offer to buy the M. Fred Hirsch. They are offering to buy the um, M157 Alvin chalices. So, they're only offering $54 per unit. Yikes! That's like less than half what I wanted to get. $54, bucks, uh, 600 bucks for the whole of it. That's making a lot of money. But if I auction them off, I would make almost twice that. So... Back to what I filmed earlier, but just so you know, sorry, replacements.com. Love what you do, but uh, I'm not that desperate. It's been a really fun saga learning about this and learning about, I looked on cherish.com. I talked to auction houses. I finally settled on replacements.com or eBay. Uh, I became much more comfortable understanding the pricing of these goods as I tracked these M157 chalices over the last six weeks. Where I was when I found these in the store versus where I am now, uh, I'm obviously not an expert on this. I, I'd say I'm a resale expert, but not in, in um, sterling silver chalices, although I have sold tons and tons of sterling silver jewelry. But I do feel like I can make an informed decision about what the value is. If I get an offer, uh, I don't want to be paralyzed by indecision, and I'm not anymore. And that's what being a reseller being a you know that's almost the wrong word people now associate reselling with like going to the nike outlet and selling shoes i bought these to resell but the work i had to put into understanding what this chalice is what the value is where i can sell it who's going to buy it what condition it has to be in is so much more work than somebody who's trying to you know flip gpus uh or you know how nfts were uh, and so I hesitate even, I, what I've been saying recently is I'm a merchant. I'm a merchant. Uh, and now this is my merchandise. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. 
Fun video for me to make. Easily my best thrift store find. And uh, see you guys later.